Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. It is the beginning of a new month. And of course, as with every other month, we have new apps to share with you guys. So in this video, I will show you guys 10 iPhone apps that you must have on your device on September 2022. Let's get started with GPU info. Now this is an amazing app. It gives you all the information you need to know regarding your iPhone. So this is the app right here. And this is the homepage of the app. Right there at the top, you can see a banner that shows you the model of the device you have. It will show you the CPU that it has and also what current version is running. And then you will have here all kinds of different details like battery. If I tap there, it gives me more details. Like you can see everything here regarding the battery. You will have the same here for the screen. You can see the cameras here. And if you actually tap here, it will switch between the different cameras your iPhone has and will show you their info right here. Really cool. You will have other things here like the storage, you have the CPU and you have the network as well, where everywhere on each of these, you can get more details simply by tapping on them. Radio Garden is the next app for the video. Now this one is really interesting. It is an app that lets you listen to radios on your iPhone, but it does it on a really interesting way. You will have actually here the globe and you can see all those green dots are radio stations. All you have to do is just move around and just tap anywhere and tap and listen to any radio that you tap right there. This is really interesting, a really interesting way to actually explore radios and listen to different radios and music on your iPhone. Now right here we'll have your favorites. Of course, you can favorite each of these radio stations and then you can browse the map from here and you will have here like different tips on how to browse the map. And you can also of course do a manual search from here. So just enter any name of any radio that you want. You can go ahead and find that radio here. But this one, the globe here and the ability to actually also see here where most radios are and find them very easily is really, really interesting. Double Taker is the next app for the video. It allows you to shoot pictures and videos with the front facing and the rear facing camera both at the same time. Now this will be pretty cool, especially for videos. Maybe you want to shoot a vlog or something. You want to have your face there on the picture. You can do that with this app. It is very simple to use. All you have to do, open the app, tap on new record, and here we'll have the simple controls. So of course I have covered there the front facing camera is the one right there and you can actually switch here from the front to the back, of course, choose which one you want to have on the main view. Now, right here, we'll be able to take a picture just like that. It will be saved under the camera roll of your device. Or of course, you can start taking a video from here. You can switch, as I said, between cameras and turn on or off the, the right there, the flash for the video and the photo mode. DTNet is the next app for the video. Now this app will bring the full desktop version of websites to your iPhone. It is really interesting. If you want to have the real desktop version of a website on your iPhone, then this is the app for you. It is free to use. So you can just go ahead and install the app and open any link you want. You will have here some simple controls. You can add a new tab, switch between tabs from here. Of course, the forwards and backwards button right there. You entered any address you want. And then if you go to settings, you can actually choose here something really interesting. You have here user agent. So you can pick the browser here, whether you want the desktop browser, which is the Mac or maybe the iPad and you can see right there it will of course switch in this case the ipad this is really cool and what you can do also is change here the search engine so you will have baidu and google you can switch between those you will have of course all the usual settings that all the browsers have but this one right here is pretty cool choose which device you want to use and of course it will display right here Markup Photo is the next app for the video. Of course, we have a markup tool on the default photos app on iOS. This one is way better. And you can not just markup photos, you can actually do way more. You tap on new right here, and you can actually directly shoot a picture and mark it up right here on the app. You can set a, set a website, a screenshot of a complete website and mark it up from here and also a screenshot of a map that you want to and of course photos as well i will have all the different tools here you can draw of course on a picture as easy as this 
you can add different stickers that you can find here you can see a ton of different stickers and of course emojis as well and you can pick whichever one you want and of course you can resize them move them around and add them from here you can add light and you can also add a mosaic which is really interesting if you just want to hide let's say a face or something and you want to add this you can do that as easy as that a very very useful feature especially if you just want to hide something a little maybe a face or something like that on a picture that you want to post the next app for the video is called super wallpaper this is an amazing new wallpaper app that offers some really high quality wallpapers for your device now the app is pretty simple to use you will have here the trending you have categories right here and you will have something called high quality whether you will find like 4k pictures and these ones are really really cool and of course the quality is amazing now if we go to category right here we can just go ahead and tap on see all it will display all the different wallpapers that the app contains of course once you have found a wallpaper that you like you tap right there and you can just go ahead and preview it from here or you can just go ahead and save it under the camera roll of your device as easy as that you can have amazing wallpapers from this app on your iphone and now with ios 16 that is coming out really soon if you go here to nature you will actually find some really cool wallpapers that will also work with the depth mode on the lock screen of your ios 16 device the next app for the video is an extension for safari called darker now this is an app that offers dark mode for websites that don't offer it of course there are a lot of different apps that offer this but this one by far in my experience is the best one it works much much better and the dark mode is actually better than the other ones now you can see if we turn on dark mode right here the website doesn't actually offer a dark mode but we can just go ahead and turn it on here from the from the extension here and you can see how it looks now it actually looks really really good now the extension has some settings if you go here and tap on darker you can go ahead and enable it you can also disable it completely if you want to or you can set it on auto and then this will turn on or off based on whether your device has light mode or dark mode enabled on ios Next up is a simple app called Nudge. Now Nudge allows you to set alarms and reminders for your everyday tasks. Now this works really simple and very, very fast. The way it works, you tap the plus button and you choose here an alarm or you can set any name you want, of course, anything you want here. And you can choose the start time and then the end time right here. Tap on done and choose the date actually where you want to enable this. And then you will have here this heads up which will show you a notification five minutes before the alarm so if you have just maybe enabled it for the complete week and you don't need it on a certain day you will get the notification before getting the alarm so of course you know when you turn it off so right here you can see you can switch between different dates and you will have your alarms and it shows you the alarms that are enabled for those days as easy as this you can see you can switch also between different alarms and you can also switch here between different reminder sounds you will have here a list of different reminder sounds to choose from for these alarms next up is system status it offers home screen widgets with system informations like this one right here displaying the storage of the iphone or this one right here displaying the sizes of uploads and downloads on my device then we have the bigger one here for the wi-fi and seller uploads and downloads going into the app on the home screen of the app here we have some really important informations regarding the device and then when you go to widgets here's where you have all the different widgets and you can actually even customize them from here so if we go to the wi-fi one it has two different sizes and we can tap on customize you can choose whether you want to have a gradient background or not and you can go ahead and choose any of these different themes and apply them to the widget once you have activated this it will of course be activated on the home screen as well next up is focus widgets this has a bunch of different widgets that you can add to the home screen and you can also customize them any way you like so you can see we have two different ones here we have a clock one and we also have a quote one right there going into the app you will see here we'll have few different categories so we have clocks we have calendars special days this is a countdown basically and then we have photos just add any photos you want and then add quotes as well so if we go on one of these 
the simple way to customize these just tap right there you can choose a photo as the background of this clock and then of course you can also choose the color once you're done with that you tap on set widget and you're good to go it will have the same here for the countdowns for the photos you can just go ahead and pick any photo you want from the photo library of your iphone and add them to the home screen or if you choose one of the quotes right here you can go ahead and change the background of course and also add any text you want here as a quote for that widget so that is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the apps if you want to download any of them make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there again thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one